Hi, I'm Dr. Siobhan Dolan of the March of Dimes, and I'd like to talk to you about a pregnancy complication called preeclampsia. Most women with preeclampsia have healthy babies, but if it's not treated, it can cause serious problems for you and your baby. Preeclampsia is when a pregnant woman has high blood pressure and signs that some of her organs, like her kidneys and liver, are not working properly. It can happen after the 20th week of pregnancy or even after giving birth. During your prenatal care visits, your healthcare provider measures your blood pressure and checks your urine for protein to check for preeclampsia. Call your provider right away if you have signs or symptoms of preeclampsia, like blurred vision, swelling in the hands and face, severe headaches, severe belly pain, or sudden weight gain, about two to five pounds in a week. Because you can have mild preeclampsia without any symptoms, it's important to go to all of your prenatal care visits, even if you're feeling fine. Without treatment, preeclampsia can cause serious problems for you, like kidney, liver, and brain damage. It can also cause bleeding problems and even death. If you have preeclampsia, your healthcare provider needs to monitor you very closely. Treatment depends on how severe your preeclampsia is and how far along you are in your pregnancy. If your provider thinks you're at risk for preeclampsia, he may want to treat you with low-dose aspirin to help prevent it. Talk to your provider to see if treatment with aspirin is right for you. Preeclampsia also can cause problems for your baby, like premature birth. This is birth before 37 weeks of pregnancy. Premature babies are more likely to have health problems at birth and later in life than babies born full term. Low birth weight. This is when your baby weighs less than five pounds, eight ounces. Placental abruption. This is when the placenta separates from the wall of the uterus before birth. We don't know for sure what causes preeclampsia, but there are things that may make you more likely than other women to have it. These are called risk factors. Risk factors that put you at high risk for preeclampsia include you had preeclampsia in a previous pregnancy, you're pregnant with twins, triplets, or more, you have high blood pressure, diabetes, kidney disease, or an autoimmune disease like lupus. Other risk factors for preeclampsia include it's your first pregnancy or it's been 10 years since your last pregnancy, you're older than 35, you're obese, or you had certain complications in a previous pregnancy. You got pregnant with a fertility treatment called in vitro fertilization. Remember, most women with preeclampsia have healthy babies, but if it's not treated, it can cause serious problems for you and your baby. If you have any signs or symptoms of preeclampsia, call your provider right away. You can have mild preeclampsia without any symptoms, so go to all of your prenatal care visits, even if you're feeling fine. For more information about preeclampsia, visit marchofdimes.org.